Makahazo Nancy Medeiros in the main event versus Donald Cerrone for UFC 126 tomorrow night. Good evening, I'm MG Montemayor. But first, the official weigh-in went down this morning in Austin, Texas. To our main event in the welterweight division, Yancey Medeiros versus Donald Cowboy Cerrone. <laughs> Well, looks like a friendly stare down between the kid and the cowboy. Yancey even gifting him a Paniolo hat. The two square off for a five round welterweight tilt in my college town. Coverage starts at 4 p.m. Hawaii time on FS1. And UH softball in Las Vegas. First game of a doubleheader against Utah State had Hawaii win 3 1. Behind Nicole Lopez and Brittany Rossi doubles in the sixth and seventh. And the second match about to get underway versus Idaho State. We'll have a game update on Island Sports at 6. UH baseball team fresh off its first season opening win in six years. Rainbow Warriors 4-0 win over Air Force last night could be credited to a few on-field changes. We think it's going to make us a little bit better, a little bit quicker, uh, with a little more range defensively. It's kind of a funny deal because the same cast of characters uh, are in the infield except for, you know, for third base. So it kind of makes it fun to, to see how they do. But we, we think it'll make us a little better. We think we're better up the middle with our with our infield defense. And, and uh, you know, when you're good up the middle, you have a chance to, you know, to be a good club defensively. Game two of the series against the Falcons continues tonight. Dominic DeMere on the mound to start for Hawaii. First pitch is at 6.35 p.m. And UH men's basketball team looking to avenge its loss versus UC Riverside tonight. Rainbow Warriors fell to the Highlanders 64-60 at home just 10 days ago. Game tips off at 5.30 p.m. Hawaii time. We'll have an update on Island Sports at 6. Later tonight, Rainbow Wahine Hoops team looking for two straight conference wins for the first time this season. Ladies face with a tough task, though, when they host league-leading UC Davis tonight. I don't know if we're going to see a switching man, if we're going to see a zone. They can mix it up, have a little bit of a feeling they may play a zone on us because we haven't shot the ball well consistently. We have to score the ball. That's the big thing. Second thing, we have to limit their three-point shots. Uh, you know, we can't let them get 9, 10, 11 makes from three and then also expect to outscore them. The 10-1 Aggies took the first meeting against UH last month in a commanding fashion, 76-52. Hawaii looking for its fourth conference win, tip-offs 7 p.m. To boys soccer, the top two seeded teams, first ranked Kamehameha Hawaii and second ranked Kapa'a facing off in YPO in the D2 title game. At last check, it's scoreless, an update on Island Sports at 6. In the D1 matchup, fourth-seeded Baldwin takes on third-seeded Hawaii Prep later tonight, the full wrap on Island Sports at 10. And round three of the Genesis Open continued this morning in Pacific Palisades, California. Tony Finau made birdie from 22 feet away on the par 4 10th hole. Then this birdie on the par 5 11. He finished at 68 today at 3 under par, minus 8 total and tied for third. Cameron Smith and Kevin Nod tied for third with Finau. At second is Patrick Cantlay and first in the leaderboard is Bubba Watson, who finished at 65, six under par and minus 10 overall. To the 2018 Olympics, medal count for the U.S. is now at nine. Five gold and a pair each of silver and bronze, with Norway still in the lead with 22 total. I haven't been able to watch much Olympics. There's been a lot of work to do. You've been following it, though. It's, Anything coming up that's exciting? Well, I'm disappointed in Lindsey Vaughn from the other night, which, you know, can't win at all, but I still think she's great. But I do need to do some catching up on that as well. Lots of local stuff going on, but hopefully I can, uh, you know, sneak off later to watch a little bit of more Olympics. <laughs> How about right. you guys? Maybe. Yep. We'll Maybe. Hopefully watch it as well. I wish we could get into double digits. We only have nine, guys. All right. got to get up there. We'll see what happens. Well, we'll be right back here in 30 minutes. If you missed any of the news, we'll have all of it coming up later at 6. We'll see you. Thanks.